Hey folks, we're going to talk about something a little bit different today. We're going to talk about the concept of dual wielding uh, handguns, or in the video game culture, it's called a Kimbo. Now this looks cool in the movies, and it looks cool in video games, but just how practical is it to actually have two guns in your hand at the same time? And what I've got in my hands right now, I've got two high point C9s that are totally pimped out with Duracoat. Got the gold cash print, and I've got the Eddie Van Halen guitar commemorative here. Now when it comes to dual wielding, there are basically two, two schools of thought. The one school is you have both guns, you shoot your main gun empty, and when your main gun is empty, you switch and you use your secondary gun. That's pretty common. We see that in movies quite often. Cack, 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 right? Now, in video games, what they like to do is they like to pull them out and do a wield at the same time. Bang, 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 bang. How practical is that? Is that gonna work? Uh, we're gonna practice it right now. We're gonna get out here and we're gonna do both ways. We're gonna do the strong hand only, and then support hand only, and then we're gonna do the alternate fire and see which one works out the best for us. So I'm back inside of my mobile office because this wind here in Wyoming is not going to stop. All right, what are our conclusions? Well, the conclusions from this short little test and experiment is this. Is it possible, is it physically possible to dual wield? Yes, it's physically possible. Can you do it single-handed right and then single-handed support or single-handed left and then single-handed support? Sure you can. Can you do it at the same time? If you don't mind brass bouncing off of your hand from the left gun to the right, not that big of a deal. Here's the thing. It's far more efficient to put both hands on the gun. It gives you greater control. You have one dominant eye, not two. So when you line up your front sight, the front sight needs to be in front of your dominant eye if you're planning on using your sights, unless you're just dumping rounds down range for fun. But if you want to actually hit your target, you need to get that front sight aligned with your dominant eye, whichever one that happens to be, and it's kind of hard when you're doing that. Now, can you do it one-handed like this and then one-handed like that? Yes, you can. My question to you is, how often do you practice shooting single-handed, and how often do you practice shooting with just your non-dominant hand? Probably not that very often. Now, maybe you want to do that. You want to work that into your routine and start shooting with both hands, single, but the fact of the matter is, I know it looks cool in video games and it looks really cool in the movies to have two guns in your hand and left and right and left and right. And there may be some application for that, but the application is probably pretty rare. I would spend most of my time putting both of my hands on the gun, practicing and learning the fundamentals and mastering those fundamentals. And maybe after you've mastered the fundamentals, you can have a little fun and you can dual wield. All right, guys, this is your friend Paul Markle from Student of the Gun. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you again soon.